question for you. Why are you writing my license plate down? Any other questions you got? No, I want to know why you're writing my license plate down. Thanks for your question. And why you're all standing around here. Why are there cops here okay. at the school? What are you guys installing? Any other questions? No, you want to answer okay. any of them? Nope, I don't. Why? Because I don't have to. I don't want to. Why are there three cops here that aren't even in what are you cop clothes? I'm trying to figure are you going out what. To church? I'm trying to figure out what everybody's doing at these schools. Are you on private property there? Why are you parked in there? That's a real deflective question. It really is. Why can't you answer any of mine? I don't want to. Because you're up Why to no good. Why don't you good, answer my you? question? Are you trying to kill my kids? I'm trying to kill your kids. Yeah. What are you guys doing? You got doing some here? identification on you. I don't think that I think matters. We need to call some law enforcement over here. I think you're we have so. weird. I haven't done anything wrong. I have rights. You're coming over here asking weird questions. Weird questions yeah, weird that you questions. won't answer. You think people are trying to kill you? No, I family. don't. <laughs> I'm questioning if your guys are installing 5D in this school. Because I have it on a good source that you are. Okay. And will you answer that question? Nope, I won't. You won't answer? Nope. Okay, I'll make sure to share this record with you. You go do that. Thank you. I got your plate. Is that, a, is that a threat? You have my plates? I got your plates. So you're what, going to show up at my house and do something? I'm not afraid of you, man. And, and you think you're recording and you think that's, that's appropriate? Why are you recording them? Because it's suspicious. Why are you recording them? Because it's suspicious. All right? You think people are trying to kill you? I think, I think that you guys are installing 5 d and it's very dangerous. Okay. And you guys are told to, to lie about it. Stop recording me. You don't have my permission to record me. Okay, this is a free Stop country. Stop recording. Goodbye. Stop recording. I don't think so. All the box falling off. All on the left hand side. Look on the left hand side of that tree. On the right hand side. That's all right. Yeah. Right, well look at the right hand side of the tree. Look at the flat. Look at the bushes. Look at the green bushes. Yeah. Very nice. Look at the left hand side. Dead. You know why? Because that's right next to it. Have you seen anything like that in your life? Got a light right there. The transmit on the top. These f transmitters are lethal. If that's what it's doing to a tree, right next to a tree, think about what these are doing to our health. I can't help but say something about this whole coronavirus thing. When you hear the normal uh, explanations, how did it go from Kansas to South Africa in two weeks so the entire world got the symptoms at the same time in spite of the fact that the mode of transportation was horseback and boats and there's no explanation for it. They just say, we don't know how that happened. But when you think about it, with these radio waves and other frequencies that some of you have in your pocket and on your wrist, you can send a signal to Japan and it arrives instantaneously. So any of you who don't believe there is an electromagnetic field that communicates globally within seconds just is not paying attention to this. And I will only finish by pointing out that there has been a dramatic and quantum leap in the last six months with the electrification of the earth. And I'm sure a lot of you know what that is. It's called 5 where they now have 20,000 radiation emitting satellites, just like the radiation emitting thing in your pocket and on your wrist and that you use all the time. That is not compatible with health. I'm sorry to say it, it's not compatible with health. That is a water destructuring device. And for any of you who say, yeah, well, well, we're not electrical beings, we're just physical matter, then don't bother doing an EKG or an EEG or a nerve conduction test because we are electrical beings and the chemicals are only the byproduct of those electrical impulses. And I'll finish with anybody want to make one guess as to where the first completely blanketed 5G city in the world was. Exactly. So when you start thinking about this, we are in an existential crisis here, folks, the likes of which humankind has never seen. 
and I don't want to go all Old Testament prophet on you, uh, but this is something that is unprecedented. The, the putting of 100,000 satellites in the very blanket of the earth. And by the way, as I was going to say earlier, this actually has something to do with the vaccine question. And this got brought home to me because about a year ago or so, I had a patient who came in who was totally fine, a surfer and all, and then he broke his... He works as an electrician putting in Wi-Fi systems for very wealthy people. Electricians have a very high mortality rate. But he was fine. And then he breaks his arm and he gets a metal plate put in his arm. Three months later, he couldn't get out of bed and was total, you know, heart irregularities, just total collapse. The susceptibility has to do with how much metal you have in your body as well as the quality of the water in your cells. So if you start injecting aluminum in people, they become receptors for absorbing increased electromagnetic fields. And that is a perfect storm for the kind of deterioration of the species, which is what we're now experiencing. It's not been made clear to the public that 5G won't just be another number and letter on your cell phone. It requires an entirely new infrastructure of thousands of small cellular antennas to be erected throughout cities where it's going to be installed. What would 5G infrastructure look like? Small cell antennas could be placed as close as every third hydro pole. Scientists from 42 countries are now warning their governments about the emerging health problems associated with wireless radiation, and Canadian doctors and scientists have added their voices. The most prevalent symptoms include headache, fatigue, decreased ability to concentrate, tinnitus, irritability and insomnia. Impacts on the heart and the nervous system are also of great concern. Dr. Rena Bray has been working at the Provincial Environmental Health Clinic for 15 years and seen the number of people suffering adverse effects from electromagnetic exposure rising. We are concerned that the upcoming introduction of 5G will significantly increase the proximity and extent of exposure to microwave radiation in Ontarians. We predict that the number of people who develop the symptoms I just mentioned will rise in the places where 5G is first installed. Dr. Magda Havis is internationally recognized for her research on the biological effects of electromagnetic pollution. She said that at high intensities, these waves cause intense heat and pain because sweat glands on the surface of our skin act like mini antennas. At lower frequency, scientists are predicting damage to eyes, loss of insect populations which are already declining, antibiotic resistance in bacteria and physiological effects on the nervous system and on the immune system. Radiation from radio frequencies is classed in the same category of carcinogens as lead. It's 10. One advisor to the World Health Organization said there's enough evidence that if they were to re-evaluate radio frequency radiation... It would be placed in class one, i.e. a human carcinogen, and governments could not possibly ignore that. Office. This is hey there. I was I just noticed some uh, white vans in the parking lot. I was wondering if you could tell me what they were doing. Who is this? This is Jim. Okay. From From uh just from the city, you know. I I was just wondering I just wondered, I noticed there were contractor vans. I was just wondering if there was anything scheduled at the high school today for them to be working on. Yep, we've got stuff going on. Oh, is it, is it related to the virus at all? No. Oh, is it anything to do with the 5G? It's the 5G radiation that they're pumping out, number one, through your phone, Number two, through these cell towers that they're installing right now as you're at home in your, in your cozy house. Number three, you wouldn't need a mandatory um, curfew 
unless you were doing something illegal to the people who didn't know. We are all capable of reasoning and thinking for ourselves. And it's crucial that we do that, especially at this time. And if you do some investigation and do some thinking, you'll quickly find out that what's going on just really doesn't make sense. And then you will be in a much better position to make a decision for yourself and you'll feel uh, much less fear about getting sick. You may be afraid of other things happening, but uh, you will not worry about getting sick nearly as much. Because if you look at how many people have died from this, it is such a tiny number compared to things that we deal with every single year.